Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's the Historical Gamer once again, and today is just a little brief uh, status update on a game I've covered once before called Verdun. It's a World War I first-person shooter that's still in an early access phase on Steam, and uh, it's interesting. You know, the game, I've always enjoyed the game. Uh, I haven't covered it a whole lot, but I uh, wanted to bring, bring it to your attention because they've released a new update, which I think is pretty substantial, and that it adds gas warfare as well as uh, the addition of the... British, who are called the Tommies, and the Canadians uh, to the game. So that adds a new rifle in the Enfield Mark III uh, rifle, which was the standard issue weapon of those two uh, nationalities. Not that the Tommies are a nationality, but you know, the English, the British, what, ha what have you. Um, and that's kind of cool because previously the game had only been, you know, different units of French and Germans uh, for the entirety of the game so far. So that's a nice addition. They've also added a new map uh, and, uh, you know, you have a gas mask as well, which is added for part of the whole gas warfare portion, which, as you've already seen here, is very difficult to play with. Uh, it's kind of cool. You can barely see anything. You can survive the gas, but you can barely see anything if you walk through those green hazes. And I think there might be a few different types of gases. I could be wrong, but there's, some seem to have a different color. And uh, basically, if you walk through those areas without a mask on, you die. Um, the map I'm playing on right now is Flanders, which is one of the stock maps, so it's not one of the new ones. But they've released a new map as well, uh, so there's a lot of updates and changes going on with uh, with Verdun, and um, it's just kind of cool. It's, it's cool to see these kind of maps and these kind of games uh, come around a little bit more with the whole 100th anniversary of World War One. and it's the only first-person shooter I'm aware of. I think there's one called The Somme, which is being worked on as well, based after that famous British offensive. But it's kind of cool to see some uh, World War One attention to FPSs. You know, there seems to be a pretty, pretty well-regarded uh, game in Verdun. Um, it's been kind of at the top or near the top of Steam sales when they have a sale, and it's already pretty affordable to begin with. I think it's like 1999 or something like that. Um, you know, I just wish they had a game that would be uh, scenario or, or single-player driven, because you know, while multiplayer is a lot of fun, and it's really cool to see kind of these scenes of death and despair and some of these artillery shots which just look absolutely phenomenal um you know it, it'd be cool to have kind of scripted missions around it too as a single player or as a co-op i think that's one element that would be missing that i think could add a little bit to the world war one genre but again just kind of felt like talking about uh, the addition of the british and the uh, canadians as well as a new map here which i'll throw a screenshot here right now onto the screen of uh of what that new map looks like pretty ominous looking if you ask me but uh, yeah, just wanted to talk a little bit about uh, Verdun here again. I haven't showed it off in a while, and that, to be honest, I'm not very good at the game. As you can see here, I'm better at dying than anything else. But it's a, it's a neat little first-person shooter, and uh, just wanted to talk about it a little bit. But uh, anyway, uh, thanks for tuning in. Uh, until next time, this is the Historical Gamer, signing out.